Well, I've moved, uh, the weather's starting to get cold, and I'm pretty much done with them. my entire projects for the for the winter. We'll have to wait until it warms up again in the spring. Um, so now I'm uh, starting a new project. I'm kind of excited about this. Um, what you're looking at here is some uh, melamine uh, cut down to five pieces. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> in order to make a mold for uh, GFRC concrete. Uh, GFRC, if you're not familiar with that um, abbreviation, stands for uh, Glass Fiber Reinforced Concrete. And it's basically just taking little um, pieces of uh, glass fiber uh, for a back coat uh, behind a face coat uh, to create a really strong concrete without uh, a lot of thickness and without uh, the steel rebar or steel mesh uh, wire framework. Um, so it can be a lot thinner, therefore a lot less light, um, uh, reduce the weight and things like this. So what this is, what you're looking at here, uh, this is gonna be turned into a mold for a coffee table. Uh, the uh, table top will be the GFRC and then uh, I'm gonna be making the legs out of uh, wood um, and it'll be a friction fit so you can lift the tabletop off uh, the legs and uh, uh, move it around if you need to. So um, the reason I haven't assembled this yet is I need to sand all of the uh, uh, rough wood edges on the melamine um, to get a nice fit. Uh, then I'll uh, drill and screw it together and um, seal it up, wash it and seal it up with a uh, silicone. I'm using, uh, this time I'm using a uh, kitchen and bath silicone ultra. Uh, this is a uh, pure silicone, uh, but it's almond color. So when I put it on the white melamine, I'll be able to see it and see uh, a lot easier um, as I spread the caulk out. Um, I've ordered the uh, Add mixtures for my uh, GFRC uh, from a company called Trinic LLC out in New York. Um, I haven't received them yet, but uh, I thought I'd give them a try and see what uh, their product. Uh, they have a, a GFRC add mixture that's all in one with the polymers, various products um, to uh, create the GFRC. Um, I also uh, ordered from them uh, white silica fume as well as the uh, glass fiber, uh, I think three quarter inch uh, little pieces. So once I get that stuff, uh, once it arrives, um, I'll shoot a little video of the products. And uh, on the video that I do that, I'll uh, also add a link to uh, Trinic LLC out in New York. And they have some really good uh, videos uh, on YouTube. I'd highly recommend if you're interested at all in GFRC concrete, um, uh, then uh, I would watch those uh, videos. The reason I'm trying this out is I want to try GFRC because I think that's the route I'm going to go uh, with the uh, tire wall project as far as the finish work is to use GFRC concrete uh, to form my... Uh, uh, fascia on those uh, tire walls outside. If you've watched any of those videos, you'll know what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, I'll kind of, as I get ready, I'll probably just shoot a next video uh, once I have this all uh, sanded down and screwed together uh, when I start the caulking and maybe by then I'll have the uh, order from Trinic and I'll be able to show you those products. So, thanks for watching. Bye.